All right, guys, welcome back to the uh, to the Wall Tank Chronicles. Super excited for another season here. Um, 2024, it's been a long winter, but we came out this uh, Easter long weekend here to, to set it up for the year. So this video, I wanted to just go over a few updates and upgrades for the tent this year, some future projects, and um, kind of just give you guys an update on what our plan is. First and foremost of the uh, upgrades here, now you can see we got a screen door. We didn't have that last year. Um, Phil from Alberta Tent Nodding actually reached out to me over the winter and was like, hey, saw some of your videos on YouTube, noticed you guys didn't have a screen door, maybe we should put one on for you. So this is a great system, um, especially in the summer, just allows, it's almost like a fourth window, right? So um, allows a lot more airflow to come through in and out. And it's the way that they've set it up, it's really convenient. So there's just a, a zipper up the middle, in and out. You can actually roll it up and tie it off on the sides. Um, for say for this weekend, for example, like I mentioned, it's Easter weekend, it's getting down to about minus four at night, um, and then we can just have our normal door. So the screen door, you know, it's, we're not using the screen door a whole lot this weekend, so we can tuck it aside and just use our normal door. So a great upgrade here um, from the guys, and super appreciative of it. The other upgrade that we did this year was how we had our fly tied down. So last year, we had it actually anchored into the ground. Uh, we had really good spikes, but the ground here is it's kind of like clay um, and just wouldn't really sit that nicely. We tighten one side, pull out from this side, come back, tighten. It was just battling back and forth. So this year, we put a whole new system in. Um, we installed these two by fours all the way across and then also installed these four inch eye hooks into the two by four. Um, and then from there, we got new rope as well. So last year, as you remember, we had, it was almost kind of like a, a twine and it just wasn't really easy to work with. This year, we got some nylon rope here um, that for the weekend has been e really easy to tie with. And we also came up with a new knot system. So at the top, we have a bowline knot. The great thing about the bowline knot is that it keeps it off of the eyelet um as you can see here and then on the bottom we have a taut line hitch knot i believe that's what it's called don't quote me on that but just loops through the eyelid here and then from here loosen it or really easily tighten them up um, and you can do that back and forth on either side spread like that the whole time so if your flies you know a couple inches too far on this side loosen it off on this side, tighten them up on the other side and should even out really easily. But um, all the lines here are super taut. Um, and it's a, a really easy system so far, so yeah. All right, new project for this year is we're gonna build a woodshed. So we're gonna build a four by eight, um, super simple woodshed. Obviously it's nice to have it right beside the tent. Got lots of plans to be out here in the early months and the late months when the wood stove is gonna be rolling lots. Um, so nice to have your wood dry. So this one's going to be super simple. Um, we got our two pallets on the ground and then we'll build our shed around it. Pallets are obviously in place just to keep the wood off the ground. Um, and then the form that we're planning on doing it is probably find a couple, um, standing dead trees that are in, in decent shape. We'll dig those into the four poles or into the four corners. They'll be our four poles. And then we'll uh, throw a sheet of plywood off the top and we'll obviously have it slanted to a, a certain degree, but something super simple. Um, doesn't have to be super hardy or plan to be lasting for you know 40 years. Just something that we can kind of throw together in a weekend and um, keep our wood dry. All right, last project on the, uh, on the docket for this year is we're gonna try and spruce it up a little bit. This is obviously not my department. Um, but Rachel's department, Brooks' department, and Ty's department. So we're gonna put a garden in here this year. Um, got some plants for some veggies and some flowers and um, like. Okay, Jim just tried to explain the garden, but he did a really bad job. So I'm gonna hop in and explain what we've done so far. So last year we had a really tiny, kind of dinky little garden with like two bean plants and a cucumber. Um, and this year we've built it up to be a little bit bigger, uh, about four feet by 16 feet or maybe 18 feet that way with a little walking path down the middle. Um, we have some really, really tall flowers. I put some seeds in, hopefully to go up by the window um, to block our view of the beautiful sea can. As much as I love the sea can and everything that it does for our storage, 
it's not great to look at in the morning. So a bit of a cottage garden style. We'll probably unstake this eventually and it'll look a little bit more natural, but we just kept these up so people don't walk through it. Although the dogs are still walking through it, but we've seeded everything. Who knows if it's gonna take, it's a little bit early. It was freezing this morning, but we'll see. All right, guys. Well, that's all we got for you today. Um, thanks again for following along. Thanks for following the channel. If you haven't, please subscribe. It means a lot. Um, throw a comment, a like, whatever you can do really helps. Um, and if uh, if you see things that we're doing, that you or have questions, feel free to ask. Or if you have suggestions, uh, we'd love to see them. So thanks again, and we'll uh, we'll be posting lots throughout the year for uh, for updates and whatnot, and showing you guys around.